growing up uh, with my mom, um, she was great. She was a stay-at-home mom. I loved it. She was very much into looking good and fashion and always dressed nice and always had makeup on. And I noticed the changes started um, shortly after she had her hysterectomy. I would bring it up to my family, my father. I don't think they paid as much attention as I did. I think what finally got them to realize that something was going on is one Thanksgiving dinner. Even though it was just the family and we were at home at the dinner table, she came to the dinner table in her pajamas. And that was something that my mother would never do. We found a, a geriatric doctor in Manhasset I think she called it a frontal lobe form of Alzheimer's. The first year and a half, she was not my mother anymore. She couldn't hold a conversation with you. And it's horrible watching someone you love go through this. You know, just, just the sorrow in your own heart. Unfortunately, part of my mom's dementia caused her just to talk excessively. <laughs> she just doesn't stop and that's tough to take. You can't sit in that room all day long. You just can't do it. You know, of course, go in there regularly. We would get her up and walk her around and keep her moving and make sure she goes to the bathroom regularly. You know, I mean, there's so many horrible diseases out there, you know, and things that, that people suffer and cancers, but this is just brutal. But again, if it's just, just part of the journey and she just, it is what it is. But then we move on, right? Life goes on.